Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Survival Friendly Builds with Tyrius, myself. And today we're looking at this wall again. We're going to continue on our wall theme that we've been kind of going with here. And we've got a Roman... I don't know, it kind of feels Roman to me. Roman style wall that we're going to look at. Uh, pretty resource friendly. And we'll go ahead and get right into it. So the only things you're going to need are cooked stone. Stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, and any wood. I prefer the dark oak wood just because the the nice dark makes it look really rich and wonderful. I love it. All right, so we will uh, we'll pretend this is a wall to a house or side of a hill, whatever the case is that we're gonna build off of. And each of these modules that we're gonna build are seven wide, including the stone walls. So we'll go ahead and start things off by laying down, by counting out, sorry. Uh, so we'll leave a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth block, we're going to go ahead and place that down. Place down our stone. We'll do the same thing again. We'll build a few of these just like we did the first time. A few of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Fantastic. Then we'll get out our wood of choice. You can use anything else too, I suppose, if you were really rich. You could throw glowstone in there or whatever you want. We'll lay down the wood or of choice here right along the center. And then we're going to do the same thing again right across the top. Five across. Pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and build all these up. These are all four high. Okay. There we go. Looking wonderful. Great. Four high. Fantastic. Next thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and throw in our stone brick stairs. That's going to kind of make up the middle piece of this to give these kind of like arrow slits. That's really hard to fire out of these, but you can if you wanted to. Uh, so we're going to do upside down stairs on the top and right side up stairs on the bottom. So go two and two each direction. And the same thing the other way and then in the center to finish it off we use our stone bricks and just put a couple of those in the middle and that gives us that basic shape then we just need to trim it off we do stone brick stairs in the corner and then we do the stone brick slabs to connect those pieces on the top and the bottom that's it done and how fantastic does that look and the only other thing I can do uh, if you don't have glowstone, you don't want to use glowstone, I just got a piece of glass in here and torches. So if you dig down two blocks into your stone wall, you can go ahead and put down a torch and then a piece of glass and it will, instead of having to put a cap of a half slab on the top of this, you will have enough light up here that nothing will spawn. Uh, I tested it for a while and nothing seemed to live up there. so. Seems as though it's good. So we'll go ahead and do it again. Oops. We'll fill it across the center with our wood of choice. Just like so. We're going to grab our stone brick stairs, upside down ones on the top and bottom. And then in the center, our stone bricks. Magnificent. Stone brick stairs again on the corners. Dum -dum -dum -dum. And then our slabs across the bottom and the top. This one's very quick and easy to build. I was throwing these here as well. Gives it a little extra depth. Makes it look like it's really sturdy. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that again. On the outside, just to finish it off really quick. Oop. Almost had it. There we go. So you can start getting into a groove and you can build this really, really fast, even without world edit. Uh, which I don't use, by the way. This was all built by hand. Uh, just to get a feel of it, make sure I didn't mess up the video too bad. When you come to a corner piece, I forgot to cover this off last time, but when you come to a corner and you want to go ahead and change the angle, wherever you have that wall where it ends, just go ahead and turn it into an L shape just like that. That's what it looks like from the top. As soon as you find where you want to stop, that's it right there. 
and then this will already here be a gap of five. So we could go ahead and finish it off just like that. And it would be the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, the entryway, all I did was take out all of the wood that was across the center here and just put stone up and then dug a hole five deep down and used the the trick with the signs and the, I just got rid of my, uh, why do I spell gray like that all the time? And got rid of, uh, what was I saying? Holy crappers. All right, I used the trick with the hay and the woe now and the hole. So the mobs, they don't recognize the, the carpet as actually being there, but uh, you and I could walk across it just fine and mobs will never chase you in. And it gives it a kind of a nice grand entrance feel. All right, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed, I hope you use this in your builds. Maybe you got some nice little structure. I forgot to build my dirt house in the middle. Dang it, I'm protecting, no I'm protecting the snow that I'm destroying for shame. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time.